Hi, welcome to another RHC series video. In this one, we'll look at uh, advanced uh, networking topics. Okay, let's have a look at the objectives first. A couple of objectives we want to look at is um, use network teaming or bonding to configure aggregated network links between two Red Hat Enterprise Linux systems and configure IPv6 addresses and also perform some basic IPv6 troubleshooting. Okay, so on both server1 and server2.example.com, we will um, configure IPv6 address uh, for both servers and test connectivity between the two servers. Um, we'll also uh, configure a, uh, a link aggregation between the two servers, so a network team. And we will also test connectivity between the uh, two servers. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is check the uh, network devices we have. So that's an MCLI device status. So we've got three. We're using the first one as it's zero connection, and we have two additional which are disconnected and unused at the moment. I just want to show you the man page for teamd.conf, um, which, if you get stuck with the config, can help. So man teamd.conf, and if you Go to the bottom, there are some examples. And uh, when we do the uh, configuration, um, we want to specify a runner, and this is the format that we need to specify. So there's some for active backup, and there's also round robin. Um, have a look at this uh, man page before the exam. Um, it could help you when you're doing the uh, configuration. Okay, so let's have a look at. Um, what connections we have so we just got the 80 at the moment so first thing we want to do is create a team so an mcli connection add type is team and the uh, connection name we'll call it team zero uh, also the if name the interface name we'll call that team zero and then we have to do the config. So this is what I showed you in the uh, man page. And so that single quote, um, curly bracket, quotes, runner, quotes, and then colon, curly bracket again, quotes, name, colon, and then the type. So let's do active backup for ourselves. And then uh, close everything. So curly bracket, curly bracket, and then single quote. Okay, so let's check. There you go, there's our uh, network team. Uh, now let's um, assign some IP configurations. So an MCLI connection modify team zero IPv4. Let's give it an address. Uh, anything you want, really. 192.168.10.1 slash 24 for server one. And also let's uh, specify connection. Um, method as uh, manual okay now next thing we need to do is add the members to the team so that's the two interfaces and there will be of type team slave so team an mcli connection add type team slave and then connection name let's call the first one team zero slave one and the interface we'll use is the first unused one so EN03 and then EN05 we will use for the second. So EN03 and then we need to specify the master which is team zero. So master team zero. Do the same for the uh, second interface. So slave two, interface name EN05 master team zero okay so if we look at the connections there we go and then if we look at the devices there you go there we go each individual um, team slaves and then we have the uh, team zero
There is also a um, Team D CTL command you can use to check uh, team statuses. So Team D CTL team, the name of the team, and then state. And you can see we've got two interfaces, and only one is active: the uh, Eno three. Let's uh, do the same on server two. Let's have a look at the uh, devices first. There we go, and then connections as well. Okay, so let's add our uh, master in. So, connection type team. Connection name team zero again. IF name team zero. And then the config, uh, same, same as server one. So curly bracket, quotes, name, quotes, colon, curly bracket again, the name, colon, and we're going to be using active backup again. And then just uh, close the config, so curly bracket, curly bracket, single quote. Okay. And then if we check our connections, uh, there it is. Now we just want to do our uh, IP assignments. So that's NMC allow connection modify the name of the connection team zero IPv4 address, and we'll give this one ten dot two. And then we just want to specify a method as manual. So NMC allow connection modify team zero IPv4 method. A manual okay let's have a look at the um, device status mm, okay what's happening here then okay let's uh, check it again all right yes I haven't even actually specified the slaves yet so let's do that NMCLI connection add type team dash slave and then connection name let's call this one team zero slave one same as server one really and then the interface name that we're going to be using eno3 and the master is team zero same for the second interface So slave two, if name eno five. Okay, let's check it again. Okay, that's better. So all our connections are there. Okay, let's uh, see if we can ping server one from here. So that was one nine two one six eight ten dot one. Okay, great. Okay, let's have a look at our uh, team D. CTL. So team D CTL and then the name of the team, so team zero and then state. Okay, so as you can see, ENO3 is active, so let's see what happens when we uh, disconnect that. So that's an MCLI device and then disconnect name of the device, so three. Again, if we do team D CTL again. Team zero state. So you see, Eno three is no longer there. However, five has now become active. Now, if we reconnect Eno three again, now if we check the team status, okay, there you go. So three is back in the team. However, five is still active. And that's pretty much it for uh, configuring a team. Okay, so let's do our IPv6 configuration. If you do IP uh, address, you'll see there is a automatically one assigned. However, we will assign a, um, a static one. If, if you want to find out about IPv6, uh, there's lots of resources on the web. So I would uh, recommend you read some of them 
Um, so we just want to modify it to zero and add our own IPv6 address in. So that's an MCLI connection, modify it to zero, IPv6 address. And FD00 is the start of the uh, private range, so to speak. So we will come up with one and assign it to our interface. So F uh, D let's do one two colon three four five six colon seven eight nine a colon and we'll co make our subnet one nine nine same as um uh, r i p v four and then we'll do this one is server two so we'll do colon colon two and it's a uh, sixty four bit so two slash sixty four Okay, and let's also set the uh, method to manual. So that's NMCLI connection modify it's zero IPv6 dot method and manual. And if we drop the connection and then bring it back up again, we should see our new IP assignment. Okay, let's do a IP address again and yes there we go so that's the address we assigned okay so we'll do an address also for server one okay so nmcli connection modify it's zero and ipv6 dot address and we'll make this one FD one two colon three four five six colon seven eight nine A colon one nine nine and then we'll do colon colon one as this is server one and it's again sixty four bit. Let's change the method to manual. So NMCLI connection modify it's zero IPv6 dot method manual. And then we'll uh, drop the connection and bring it back up again. Okay. So the if you want to test connectivity of IPv6, that's just ping six. So let's ping. Um, IPv6 of server 2, so that was FD1234567898A uh, colon 199 colon colon 2. So that's okay, so we do have connectivity. Let's go back to server 2 and ping the other way. So ping 6 again and then the IPv6 address. one okay so there we go we have connectivity okay so if you wanted to check a default gateway of ipv6 that's just ip hyphen six and root at the moment we don't have any um ipv6 default gateway so if you were to add one in uh, again it's pretty much like ipv4 so that would just be uh, nmcli uh, connection modify And then it will be IPv, uh, so if zero, and then IPv6 dot gateway, and then let's say we had a, a the same subnet, but the the last number was two five four. So you just do it like that, and then. If we uh, drop the connection and bring it back up again, uh, it should assign our uh, default gateway. Okay, there you go. So now we have a IPv6 default gateway.
And that concludes the video for uh, advanced networking. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. There are some contact details on screen. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, suggestions, so then um, drop me a line.